Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to another 100 Baby Challenge. So right now, the kids are all up at school, other than Gavin, because it is actually his birthday, as you guys can see here. And if there's any sounds outside, I apologize, my neighbors are cutting down a tree, so uh, you're probably going to be able to hear that. But right now, we are going to go ahead and age up Gavin. He is becoming a teenager, and what is this? Research Science Facility show. Uh, you can do that after school, but we're just going to wait for Gavin to go ahead and age on up. I'm kind of really excited. I don't know why, but I'm excited to see him age up. Because then Hayden's not the only teenager. Alright. Uh, uh, this feels like it's taking forever. And I know it's kind of just like a really big jump in to this part, but... um. I was actually planning on playing a day off camera because there hasn't really been anything interesting going on. And then it popped up that it was Gavin's birthday and I was like, alright, I'll just wait for the kids to go off to school and then we will start recording for Gavin. So here he is here. And so Gavin is excitable, a mooch, easily impressed, and has a good sense of humor. Alright. So apparently Mallory wants to go and paint, so that's alright with me, other than the fact that her shoes got to pee. So I might have her do that first, and then maybe I'll let her go and paint. And Gavin's going to go ahead and grab himself a slice of cake. He's not really hungry though, but I'll let you eat some cake, it's your birthday. And then, I don't know what I want to get him to do after. I'm not going to give him a makeover right yet, I'm just going to kind of set him up, get him in a better mood, and then I'll give him a makeover. And Mallory, whenever you've done that, you can come up here and continue your painting. I'm really sorry if you guys can hear that noise. It's been going on for about four hours now, and I was wanting to record, but then it started, and I figured, you know what, I just gotta record. So... I guess that's just how it is with being a YouTuber. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait for Mallory to finish her shower, and she's gonna go upstairs and paint, and then Gavin is gonna go and get himself ready, and Mr. University Mascot is here. I'm gonna sell this basket, because that's always what I do. Because none of these kids are going off to university. But, um... I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do Gavin's makeover off camera. And I'm losing my voice, but I'm going to go ahead and do his makeover off camera, and then I will be back once I am done. Alright, so we are back, and the kids are all home from school and doing their homework. Over here we have Gavin. He's reading a book in his mom's bedroom. Um... You'll be able to see him a bit better on the family tree, but this right here is Gavin. Gave him some new hair that I just recently downloaded, but yeah, that's Gavin. And then Mallory's up here painting still. Hayden just got home, so he can go ahead and do his homework. Alright. And I'm still losing my voice, so I apologize for that. I'm just going to go ahead and clear my throat real quick. One second, guys. <clears throat> you probably were able to hear some of that, and it still didn't help. So that's always fun. I'm just going to set the kids up once they're done their homework. They're not, like, really hungry or anything. All the kids are actually in pretty good moods, and I'm not entirely sure why. The safe has like a glitch where their moods just are always like constantly good or they're constantly like really bad. There's never really an in between. I'm gonna let them go ahead and eat. And Mala can eat when she's done her painting as well. I wanna get rid of the cake. But uh, yeah, she's up here doing a painting. And she doesn't really need to because we are actually pretty good for money. But you know what she wanted to do so why not and all of the kids are actually finishing up their homework so they're gonna go eat except for avia um can you get this person to leave i don't know if she helps i'll try that and then i'll let her come inside 
and grab some cake. Because it's either cake or apple pancakes. I choose cake. But, um, I don't know. After they are done eating, I guess I can let them go ahead and play with some toys. I'll just kind of set them up. And you can play with a toy out of here, and so can you. I didn't mean to click that. And there we go. Alright. There's so much noise in the background, and I feel like I should stop recording, but I don't want to. And Gavin just improved his handiness skill to level 2. I didn't know he was reading a handiness book. But, you know. And this chick is still here. Um, I don't know what I can do about that. Alright, so Hayden's the only one left that has to do his homework, and he, by the looks of it, is almost done. So I'm going to fast forward until he's done, because everybody else is doing their own thing. So the kids are off to just go and play with their toys. Oh, well, Avia, nope. I'm wrong. That's Audrey. Audrey's going to play with the toy. I had the A light. And apparently Tristan just aged up. So happy birthday, Tristan. Haven't seen you all that long, but that's alright. How is Mallory's painting? This one actually looks kind of really pretty. But, um, Gavin's going to eat. And this noise is actually driving me insane. Alright, I think I'm going to try and finish this night, and then I'll just skip to later on whenever the noise isn't going on and take a break from recording. Hopefully I'm able to do that. But I'm just going to set the kids up, get them ready for bed, even though they're not really tired. But I want to get them all in better moods. And I'm going to get Mariah to go and take a shower and use the toilet. She can use Hayden's bathroom because he's going to get some food anyways, so. And then Lydia, you can come in here and use Gavin's because I'm pretty sure he's still eating. Uh, Avia, instead of doing that, you can go and use your mom's bathroom. And then Miss Audrey, come upstairs for me and use this bathroom up here. I didn't mean to click on the shower twice. Alright. Um, try that again. Apparently, that's not working. This is always fun. The toys of the Sims. Alright, and then they can head off to bed. Mallory, I'm gonna let you answer this phone call. And I'm just gonna get the kids kind of ready for bed. It is getting a little bit late. It's not, like, all that bad, but it's a little late. Um... Who's on the phone? Jasper. Uh, sure. You can talk to Jasper. Haven't talked to him in a while, so go right ahead. And Gavin is embarrassed. Who did you walk in on? Alright, um. Alright, and then he can head off to bed as well. Who do did you walk in on? Oh, you walked in on Mariah. It's all right, Mariah. You can just go to bed, hun. Um, Avia is all good. That child is apparently running. All right. And then, uh, for Hayden, what can I get you to do? All right, so Gavin is being, like, refusing to actually do anything. But I'm going to try and get him to do that and head off to bed. And all of the girls, I believe, are headed off to bed. Hayden should be as well. No, he's not. I just have him headed towards the shower. And there's nobody in his bathroom. Okay, good. Um, that shower's broken. That's fantastic. I love broken showers. So after Mallory finishes eating, I'm going to have her come and 
prepare her shower and then use her toilet and head to bed because her hygiene's not too bad. The painting isn't completely done yet, but that's okay. We will get there. Um, Jenny just got a promotion, apparently. Sounds like our kids are doing pretty good. Alright, so Mallory's gonna go ahead and eat. I'm gonna pass it forward through this. And by the sound of it, the sound stopped for a little bit, so... That's always good. And Jamie and Mallory are no longer friends. Hayden, what are you doing? Can you head to your own bed? That'd be great. Instead of making your brother's bed randomly as he's sleeping. Like, I don't know, that's that's weird to me. And Mallory, you don't need to do that. But what you do need to do is go and repair that shower. Alright. I'm going to fast forward through this part. Let her fix up this shower. Alright. Good job, Mallory. And then you can mop up this puddle. Actually, you can take a shower as well. And then I'll get her to head off to bed. But I'm going to go ahead and skip forward until the morning. And then I will be right back. So we are back. It is now about the morning. Mallory actually just finished this painting. I'm going to have her go ahead and sell it. And um, the sound is still going on, but I I don't know. I want to keep recording. But um, I actually wanted to go and visit the grandchild today. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, Hayden is currently apparently playing some chess with Gavin. Well, that's cool. They can have some brother time. I'm going to go ahead and cancel the kids from playing, doing whatever they're doing. Because the bus is about to show up. So they can all head off to school. And Mallory is going to go and see her grandbaby. Which I'm kind of excited for. I believe her name is Terry, but I might be wrong. And I can't remember who Terry's dad is. So that probably doesn't help. But um, we do have bills to pay. So we will do that after we get home. And I'm making sure that everybody's going to head off to school. And I'm pretty sure we're all good. I don't know why Mallory decided to go out the side, but that's all right with me. Um, just going to make sure that everybody's going. Mallory doesn't have too far to go because Jenny actually lives in our area. She didn't want to move too far away from home, which that's perfectly okay. They're all still in the same town, so by the looks of it, they're all going to school, and here we are. This is Jenny's little house, and I'm just going to click the pay bills now button just because it's easier. But yeah, this is Jenny's house right here. I'm going to make sure that the kids are all kind of meeting some friends and getting on the bus instead of trying to skip school. They do have that happen quite a bit. Well, well, not in this, but where the kids uh, skip school without me telling them to. So I'm trying to make sure that everybody's actually going to go to school. Oh, be good. All the kids have gone to school. Okay. So here's Jenny. She's actually in her work uniform. But um, that's all right. So this is Jenny's house right here. It's a two-story. All right. But as you guys can see, like here, there's the little grandbaby. Her name is Terry. And right now, I want Mallory to go ahead and coo over the children. And you can talk about family with it, Jenny. And then we will interact with the grandbaby. But right now, I want him to talk to Jenny. I don't want Jenny just to think that we came over here for the grandbaby. But uh, we will toss in the air. We will tickle her. Snuggle her. She looks really cute. Like, she looks adorable. And the science thesis was good for Hayden, which is really good. But alright, so let's go ahead and interact with the grandbaby. 
Like, look at how cute this is, Mally. It's the cutest little Guma ever. Like, look at that. That's adorable. Other than my game kind of freezing, but that is so cute. And, alright. Um, apparently she doesn't know how to walk or talk, but... Okay, so she is in her everyday outfit, but we're gonna go ahead and teach her how to walk a little bit. Because Mallory doesn't really have anything else to do, and I just want it to be really cute. I might take a picture, I'm not sure yet. But I just want to see how cute this is, because I've never, like, I, I've never, yeah, whatever. But I don't use the actual teach to walk very often anymore. So. But I want this to be this really cute, like, grandma and grandma daughter type thing. Like, look at how cute that is. That's adorable. Um, Avia, you can do that. You can research the supermarket, that's good with me. Alright, so Mallory, I'm gonna have you come in here and use the toilet. And that's one thing about the elderly sims, the bladders go down really quickly. Then she can go ahead and wash her hands. Um, and we have a phone call. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her answer her, her phone. By the looks of it, it's Jamie, which is the quadruplets dad. I'm gonna say no, because why would Mallory want to talk to them? And who else is home? Okay, so that's Tristan's house. Um, what else? Like, do we have? I know we only have one other grandchild, but okay, so Savannah's not home either. Um, oh, maybe that one's Savannah's. None of our family seems to be home, but that's Layla's house. And um, this little. Who is the Hatch McBride household? I'm gonna go visit them just to see. Um. Oh. Wayne White McBride. Well, we have a child living in, like, the witch area. Alright. So they're just meeting people at school. And Mallory's gonna go head over here because I don't know who this house is. Like, I have honestly no idea. The Hatch McBride. Like, I have genuinely no clue. So, it looks like it's a nice house. But I just wanna know whose house this is. I'm a very curious person right now. Alright. Um, open up the family tree. So, yeah, here's Terry. But I don't see... I don't know who this would be. Unless, maybe, this is, like, a stepkid. To one of our kids, I don't really know. Um, said that with just acquaintances, so I don't really, I have no idea. But I'm not gonna have, look at how big our family truly is. Um, Jasper then, oh, okay. It's a Jackson stepkid. Oh, like, that makes sense. I was so confused. And Mallory, you don't need to go inside. You can just head on home. We figured it out. That's all that matters. And the um, the teenagers are done school. So, they're gonna head on home. And um, so is Mallory. Uh, Audrey research in the supermarket. You can do that. I'm gonna have them. Um... She has a free game. Alright. And then she can go ahead and grab some food. And then watch some TV just because I don't feel like having her paint. And then I'm going to get Hayden and Gavin to go ahead and do the homework when they get home. That didn't work out in my favor, but that's alright. Um, I'm going to let 
Gavin also do his homework. I'm going to sell his old homework. And then he can go ahead and grab some cake as well. Since we're all out, all out of apple pancakes. Alright, so Mallory's just apparently going to stand outside. Okay. Um, by the looks of it, our maid is done. And that's about it for right now, I guess. Alright, so now my game's frozen, so you know, that's always fun. It's always fun. And there we go. But I think I'm going to go ahead and actually end this part here, even though the girls just got home from school. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.